Here we are. Good afternoon, everybody. And my audio is playing the wrong track. There we go. Ha ha ha. Good afternoon. It's been a couple weeks. Welcome back to Zulu's Board Game Cafe. It is me here, MC Squared, talking to you from Zulu's Board Game Cafe, doing our weekly Pokemon Scratch and giveaways. Uh, yeah, so we weren't here last week. I'm very sorry to everyone. We were out at Gen Con in Indianapolis, and I was there taking pictures and stuff. You can see a lot of that if you're following us on the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. All that stuff is where that went live. So if you didn't see any of it and want to check out all the cool stuff we did at Gen Con, you can check that out there. We have a whole lot more cool convention stuff coming up. Uh, weird. Um, uh, we've got Emerald City Comic Con next week, and we've got PAX in a month. So much cool uh, stuff coming out of Zulu's in the convention circuit. It's going to be a real busy couple of months, but I should still be here on Wednesdays bringing you your delightful dose of Pokemon. And, of course, what are we doing today? Uh, so... Our deal this week is going to be a relatively exciting one. It's another ETB deal, as I'm sure you've gathered from the description that we've got up in the corner right there. And I think it's an ETB, ETB deal people are going to like. I'm not going to give you the exact dollar total today, but I think you will be happy with it. Um, and it's going to be on a pair of reprint ETBs, featuring, of course, the one that you could probably predict is Evolving Skies. And the other one that we've just gotten a big pile of back in that we're going to be opening one up today... It's these Brilliant Stars. So we're going to have a special thing up this Friday. There's a combo deal on a Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies ETB. So mark that on your calendars for Friday at 3 p.m. And today we're just going to go ahead and do a little flashback crack on some Brilliant Stars. I haven't started up the giveaway yet, Carlos, guys. So you're going to have to bear with me while we take a look at a few packs first. We'll get it in. Hey, I see a first time chat from KevOps. Welcome. Diamond Adrian, everybody. Cheryl, hello, hello, hello. Not sure what's going on with your sub, Cheryl. I can check in on that after the stream today. But uh, yeah. So we're going to crack some Brilliant Stars. Now, the last Brilliant Stars, official Brilliant Stars product I opened, is where we got the Rainbow Charizard V. So uh, I'm not going to make any promises about this being the best Brilliant Stars product we've ever opened because I've got literally nowhere to go but down but it doesn't mean we can't still find some cool cards in here see what we've got all of the usual stuff stars this is mostly last year stuff so we're not gonna go too long we're just gonna jump right in on these packs that I got here Whew. So, what did everyone do last Wednesday when I wasn't around? Hopefully y'all had some fun and managed. Was anybody in the stream also at Gen Con? Did anybody else get to come out? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, but so, well, I mean... I could totally understand being sad that I'm not here. I know, I know. Everyone was very sad. We all cried. Had some maximum sadness. Oh. Good news though, we're starting off with a hit today. We're gonna start off strong. Oh, oh, are we gonna start off with a double? Are we gonna start off with a double on the first pack of new Brilliant Stars? What is this? Octillery Trainer and the Kingler VMAX is coming out swinging. Yeah. Pokemon Stream, you missed me. Look at how much you missed me. How about that? Hot damn. Hot damn. Fancy Kingler VMAX and the artillery. Yep, there we go. Well, <laughs> already making up for being gone for a week. Look at this. Look at this. It even knows. It's, a, it's, my, it's my brand as well. It's two bottom feeder aquatic Pokemon. You missed me, Pokemon. You missed me, Pokemon cards. You really missed me. Look at that. Not a, not a bad view coming out the gate today. Adrian, I appreciate that sentiment, but I don't think that's true for a second. That you would rather have this pair of, uh, of cards over that Charizard. I mean, they're cool, but... Uh, I don't think they're that cool. 
All right, pack two. Let's see if we can keep up the momentum. Hard to do. We'll start that strong, but you never know. On top and a moth him. Nope. <laughs> Still good, though. Ugh, you can tell I was doing a lot of shouting at the show. I still don't entirely have my voice back yet, which I'm sure you all can detect. Uh, I wasn't actually doing a whole lot for Zulus. Like, I was capturing some stuff, and if you keep an eye on our YouTube, you'll see some of the games that we got to see. A whole lot of cool preview stuff. Uh, but did, I was one of the judges for X-Wing, if anyone's a miniatures gamer. Got to check that out, see a whole lot of cool X-Wing stuff. First Clefable. It's reverse hollow rare. Let's throw it on there. Add a stack. Yes, that was yes, that was such a big deal. Brilliant Stars was like the hype set of the year so far, I think. Even though Lost Origins is looking to be pretty neat. I'm I'm excited for Lost Origins. Uh I think Lost Origins intro week is going to be during PAX. That's going to be a big week for, for me. It's really busy. Uh, local folks, who's going to who's going to be at Emerald City Comic Con? Is anybody, anybody planning on being there in the chat? Going to swing by, see Zulus, play in some of our events? I know we've got a lot of cool events that we are hosting going on up in the board game and TCG area. First Collapse Stadium. All professor's research. That's a, that's a fair cut. I mean, celebrations at least was a worthwhile set to be, to be your spending receptacles here. Let me go ahead and fire up this week's giveaway. So, give y'all some time to punch in while I talk about all the other stuff that's going on. All right, there we go. So everybody can go ahead and start punching in. The exclamation mark Zulus to jump in on winning all this stuff since we got certainly one big hit of two, I guess, worth worth having with the artillery and the Kingler. But you can go ahead and punch in. But I do hope some of you will come say hi while we are at Emerald City Comic Con. We will have some deals going on on Pokemon and we're going to be having... Some cool promotions. I'll talk about those here in a minute once I'm done flipping through cards so I can remember to talk about them all very effectively. These are the first timers in there, Lady Kate's. Welcome, welcome. Even if we're just jumping in the giveaway, that's fine. Happy to have everybody come and check us out here at Zulu's on our back in our streaming saddle for the first time in two weeks geez i know it's only been two weeks but i guess it feels like it's been a lot longer just because a convention weekend takes so much time oh i think we got something else fun at the back of this one looking interesting oh 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 another double another double alchemy trainer the alchemy so cute and more pico v that Starts of it, but I don't think I've actually seen this V uh, before. It's just the full Dark Marpeco. That's pretty neat. And I suppose this is this is just a double or nothing box that we're opening today. We've got two two trainer full arts, V Max and V. Good stuff. Good stuff. Morpeko is adorable. It is one of the more interesting Pikachu clones. And I hope we see more of that mechanic, honestly. I hope Scarlet and Violet really come in on that. Oh, oh, that's what happened. Well, uh, I was in freaking Gen Con. The Pokemon Direct come up. Did everyone watch the new Pokemon Direct? See all the sweet new stuff that's coming out for Scarlet and Violet? The adorable Fido? 
Are we all hyped for Fido? Because we're all dog people and fans of the goodest boy Pokemon. And Fido is going to be the new goodest, goodest boy. Oh, all right. Calling it. Calling it. Fido is going to have an evolution, and its evolution is going to be called Purebred. Calling it. You heard it first here on the Zulu stream. Fido evolves into a Pokemon called Purebred. And when that happens, everybody needs to go, everybody needs to tag us that we said it first here on this stream if that happens. <laughs> I'm way too amused at myself about that. <laughs> Been a long morning, you guys. We got a lot of convention prep going on. I'm a little exhausted. So uh, forgive me for sitting here and laughing at myself. My very, very stupid Pokemon joke. Uh, yeah, I, I, in fact, yes, I'm gonna go make a highlight of that as soon as the stream is over of that call out and reshare it for just in case that happens. Cause that'll be something. Hey, coach you. Goler. No more exciting things. All right. We got one pack left. We're gonna, we're gonna give it the shakedown. I'm gonna give it the old bite. But, uh, I honestly couldn't, couldn't have asked for a much nicer, uh, comeback, comeback tour on Brilliant Stars. Four hits out of these packs is a pretty good ratio. And I know coming up soon we'll have a few of those, um, the new Pokemon Go stuff be coming out. We'll get back to Pokemon Go soon. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna suss out here. Uh, cycle around. <laughs> Y'all, how am I so good at this? How am I so absurdly good at opening Pokemon cards? What just happened? What was this ETB that I just opened? Look at that, Rainbow Foil, Sharon's Care. Look at this just delightful little anime husbando. What is little... <laughs> This little beachy boy, I'm just hanging out, being all rainbowy in the back of this pack. <laughs> Talk about a swing and a hit for uh, for a billion stars ETB. You know what? This might be pushing the. You know, I started this stream by saying I don't know what we can do to go up from that rainbow Charizard, and while no, we got no singular hit that was as good as that. We still. For an ATB, we turned it out. Like, one ETB right here. That is, uh, that is something. Hi, John Poke. I, I did see a lot of first time hellos in there. Uh, John Poke. Scotty Lockdown. Kangaloo, welcome, 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 everybody, to the Zulu stream. Yeah, that's... So, the Sharon's Care is cool. I don't know if I like it more than the Kangaloo. It is probably worth more, uh, just from a, from a value standpoint, because it's the secret rare, but... Like, I like my... I like my weird bottom feeder Pokemon, and... Uh, that Kangaloo VMAX is, is pretty great with its weird giant beard, beard Kingler. Okay, so yeah, everybody go ahead, make sure you got your entries in. Say all the usual stuff, everybody. Uh, the stream will always be a just fun, free thing that we do every week to connect with the community. You guys let you know about what's going on in Zulu's world, uh, give away some Pokemon cards. 
Oh. Uh, so, always be free to enter. No no need to pay Jeff and all these giveaways. You are, of course, always welcome to subscribe and get involved. It does help us out a little bit. Helps me out, justify, keep it doing it, and we'll always try and we get a real decent turnout. We got to do more and more frequently. Like, we got to partner, affiliate. I never remember the Twitch levels, but we're at the first Twitch level thanks to the generosity and participation of all y'all in this weekly giveaway. Um, we've got our fun little Jukumuku and Pinkurchin emotes, and we'll see about adding more in the very near future. We started doing the Digimon stream every month when the new Digimon cards come out. Uh, we've been able to capture a lot more of our regular content, and that is largely in thanks to the dedicated regular presence of you guys being here to support uh our social media our streaming procedure and essentially me on behalf of zulus so thank you all so much for that uh but enough of that pontificating the stuff that's coming up as we said in the beginning if you showed up late the reason we are doing brilliant stars today is because we've got a special etb deal coming out this friday as part of our usual friday deals and it's going to feature a bundle of brilliant stars and evolving skies etbs so if you love the good good deals on ATBs that is, is of course already known for, make sure that you are tuned in Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific for when those go live. We'll have a few other things. Uh, the Lost Origins pre-orders are still up and that is coming down the pipe soon. So make sure you've got your orders in for Lost Origins. We've got the conventions coming up. Oh my goodness, it's going to be such a thing. Next week, Emerald City Comic Con. We'll have, I'll talk some more about that while we're there. But I will say that Zulus has a booth. And if you're going to be at Emerald City Comic Con, make sure you swing by the Zulus booth. We'll be giving away a $100 gift card every single day at the Zulus booth. You come by, you take a picture, you tag us in it on your social medias. All you got to do to enter to win. And then you'll be able to... Um, Get $100 free stuff, get yourself a bonus booster box, a uh, brand new board game, all that stuff. We'll be showing off doing demos on all sorts of board games. We're going to have some events going on at the show. I'm going to actually probably pull up our entire event calendar and talk about it. Make y'all listen to me, promote for my show before I pick a winner. Keep you all in suspense for, you know, 20 minutes or so. I know, it's heartbreaking. See, so, yeah, we'll be doing Clask, Marvel Dice Throne, Marvel Crisis Protocol, Marvel Champion. So if you're a Marvel fan, certainly. We've got a War Cry event. We've got Digimon. We've got Final Fantasy. We, of course, will be having a Pokemon event. That's going to be Thursday at noon. So if you're going to be at Emerald City and want to get in on the Pokemon event, since that is most of you in the stream right now, that is going to be Thursday at noon. From noon to six being run by our local pokemon uh organizer and professor fran who i'm sure many of you know recognize has joined me on the stream several times so that's one of the big ones uh well the final fantasy tcg we will have dragon ball super i will also have a second uh sealed pokemon event at six o'clock Lots more TCG events going on that whole weekend. You'll find us over in the Sheraton. So lots of good stuff to be had. Uh, hello, hello. Cat Daddy, Sheep, nice to see you. Uh, yes, we will be. So not at this show because it won't be out yet. But One Piece TCG is coming. Is going to be a big deal. I am a huge One Piece fan, or I guess I was. I haven't read or watched it in several years. But, you know, I consumed 600-something episodes of the show, so I feel like I'm qual still pretty qualified to talk about One Piece as a One Piece fan. But the TCG is coming. Uh, I'll probably play some of it. I'll get involved. When it comes out, we will undoubtedly do a stream of it for this. So if you're excited about the One Piece TCG, make sure you're subscribed. Keep an eye out. I will put that on the schedule for as soon as it comes out because that is going to be the hype train. And, oh man, One Piece, <laughs> more One Piece trivia. If you're a fan of it, I hope I don't know if everybody heard, but we are actually 
getting set up for One Piece to end. The author said, uh, I think earlier this year, announced he's taking off a year to actually write the end of the series, the final arc. Um, granted, an arc usually represents like tons and tons of chapters of the manga and several hundred episodes of the show, like several different like of the many of stories, like three or four different you know branches of story will go into a single arc. But it still means that the end of One Piece is going to arrive. And I guess when that happens, I'll actually have to sit down and watch the entire end of One Piece. That'll be a whole thing. Get my weeb card back. I'm old, Yusuke. Okay, that's, uh, that's me ranting about stuff, so make sure you jump in. I'll give everybody another couple of minutes to sit here and drink water. What else is coming up? PAX is coming, but I'm not going to talk about PAX until Emerald City happens. But there will be some cool stuff at PAX as well. Mm. I wish I had more exciting things to say about Gen Con. We did actually... Uh, Purchase a lot of brand new board games at Gen Con that are going to be on sale for the first time With us at Emerald City Comic Con and at PAX to so be able to check that out We'll also be announcing some of those things that we'll be able to have online there So make sure you keep posted for those things well, that'll be board games, but hopefully some of you like board games and play them We do also make a decent amount of board game content if you're not subscribed to us on YouTube We do some learn to plays we do some unboxing, all that really cool stuff. Oh man, Frosthaven. I am so hyped for Frosthaven. Uh, I don't know if you saw the setup for Frosthaven at uh, Gen Con, but they had a couple scenarios that they were demoing and you could sign up to play one of the starter scenarios for Frosthaven at Gen Con and they had built completely realized 3D terrain. So it was just this perfect 3D terrain for, uh, for that whole, the, the Gloomhaven hex-based system with the walls and stuff. It is so great looking. Oh, uh, Jump Hogue. Is there a game like Catan that is just as fun? Oh, okay, so yeah. Short answer, yes. There are a lot of modern day board games that will uh, look and feel like Catan. What is the... What's the first one that I recommend? Uh, Terra Mystica. If you're a big fan of Catan, you, I would take a look at Terra Mystica. It's really kind of the next step up in that everyone's kind of their own person and they're try you're trying to build and expand and, and settle a whole area while working against your neighbors. And it's going to feel a lot like Catan in that you've got a lot of hexes on the board and, uh, and the way you build roads and structures has kind of similarities, but the factions have a whole lot of specific powers to them, and it's a gonna be a more fantasy world-based game. So that would be my my step up recommendation to come out of Catan is to is to go into Terra Mystica, which you can definitely find in our store if you're local. I'm not sure if Terra Mystica is on our website, but I know we carry copies in store. If you are looking for another really kind of family-friendly game, I would take a look at Carcassonne. Carcassonne is a tile-based laying cities game, that sort of thing. Uh, it's going to be a little bit simpler than Catan because it's mostly just take a square, put it down. Uh, King Domino, kind of in that same realm. I'm not sure what uh, what level of complexity you and your family are looking for, but that's what I would take a look at for. Uh, hello? Two, two eras, welcome. Make sure you jump in on the giveaway if you're just getting here, everybody. Exclamation mark Zulu's get a chance at winning all of these things here in front of you that we opened up today. The Artillery, the Alchemy, the King of the Morpeko, and the Sharon's Care, Rainbow Foil. One ETB's worth of pulls. Bonkers, bonkers pulls today, you guys. Yeah, actually, Adrian, I, that would be awesome. I think um, if the people that did True Dungeon or something teamed up with uh, the Gloomhaven team to do like a full, like a Gloomhaven LARP type thing, 
where you had all your powers like submitted and stuff and they gave you little props and costumes and thing that would be a lot of cool a lot of cool that sounds right and of course our friends from catalyst were there we got to check out all of the new catalyst games uh, alpha strikes coming out if you're a miniatures player and care about battle tech that's uh that's a fun thing that's happening Whew. hey D &D is great we do have a dungeon master program here at zulu so if you need to hire a dungeon master to help you get into D, &D you can do that over at zulusgames.com check out our professional D, D team we actually a couple weeks ago wrapped up our dungeons and dragons summer camp which was a blast every year we do uh exactly what it sounds like we do a youth summer camp program where our entire D, &D team comes out and there's a large like semi crossover event with like six tables it was pirate themed this year so it was a whole bunch of pirate crews doing fun and exciting stuff pretty neat okay I've yammered on about all the other stuff plenty, so let's go ahead, pop into, oh, not that page, not that page, this, this is the one, all right, let's see what contrived numbers are, right. looks like I've got more entries than I've got bodies in the stream, so, and it looks like the people that are Supposed to have their multiple tickets, have them, yes, because the system is working for my subscribers. Oh, yes, I I started to say it earlier. Um, the other thing that subscribers get, if you do subscribe to the channel, is an extra entry in the giveaway every week, so you've got a little bit more chances to win. There, I've said that. Oh. So, that's the other thing we do to give you back a little bit more. If you support the Zulu stream community. Oh, is there anything else on the docket before I just hit this go button? Not really. The, there should be a lot going up on the YouTube in the next week or so, so keep an eye on that. And otherwise, we're going to go ahead and hit the close button and see who our winner is this week. You know, you're not even subscribed, are you, Gecko? And this is like your third win or something? I mean, congratulations to Jagno Gecko, of course. But at the same time, what are you doing to hack my machine? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll reach out to you, get your information again, get this stuff sorted and sent out. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in as always we'll be back next week with I think we'll have a new Pokemon Go item next week and we'll talk some more about Emerald City Comic Con and what's going to be going on there and I'll tell you about we'll I'm going to try really hard to do some sort of stream during the uh, during Emerald City I'll try and do a special Pokemon thing if we can. I got no promises on how powerful that internet is or isn't going to be and whether or not I'll be able to justify taking up our bandwidth. But, uh, so, uh, and if anyone didn't hear me talk about it, the the deals preview is going to be, oh, I totally never even hit the button to change this stuff around. This, uh, this Friday for the deals, for anyone that missed it, we are going to be having an ETB bundle featuring a combination of Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies. That's going to be going up on Friday as part of our deals. So keep an eye out for that at the usual time. So make, make sure you mark that on your calendars, 3 p.m. Pacific. So you guys got to hear it first for tuning into our Wednesday stream. It'll be the premier Zulu's thing knowers. Sounds weird to say out loud, but there, it's the world I live in. I said it. It's a live stream. Can't take it back. Can't take it with you. Uh, but thanks for joining us, everybody. Uh, this is MC Squared here for Zulu's Board Game Cafe. Don't forget to follow us on all of our various channels in addition to Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Join our Discord to get the latest updates and first announcements on 
new releases, products, all that stuff. Your place for the best deals on board games, card games, RPGs, and everything in between. Have a lovely evening, everybody. Signing off.